Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the bearing on your dryer. Really easy job. All we're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver, a putty knife, and a little bit of high temperature lubricant. Let me show you how we do it. Now the first step in this repair will be to disconnect the power to the dryer. Uh, simply pull the plug if it has one on it. If it's a direct wired dryer, then you'll need to locate the fuses or circuit breakers and turn those off. Next, we'll remove the main top. There's a couple of spring clips in about two inches on either side. So with a putty knife, we'll locate those, depress them, lift up on the lid. Just open the lid up and we'll remove this ground strap at the back. And then lift the lid right off. Next, we'll disconnect the two wire harnesses along the side here. Tuck that down out of the way. And there are two Phillips screws that are located about four inches down on either side that hold the front panel to the cabinet. So we'll remove those. Now we can tilt the front panel forward, lower it down enough that you can disengage the hooks on the bottom of the front panel, and then we'll set that whole assembly aside. Next we're going to remove this little guard on the front, a single Phillips screw. That will give us a little more room to remove the drum. Now there's an idler assembly that's located right in behind the blower. It has some spring tension on it, so we're going to um, release the tension on that spring and then roll the belt off the motor pulley. So reach in on one side to relocate that. Next, using the belt, we'll lift up on the back of the drum to disengage the bearing. And we're going to tilt it enough to get it through the opening. And then we'll set the drum assembly aside. Now with the drum down on a flat surface here, We've exposed the rear bearing, and it's held in place with these three screws that have a, a Phillips head on them, or if you find them really tight, you can also use a number two square head to remove those three screws. There will also be some grease on that bearing, so I want to protect the floor. Now the new bearing uh, has holes punched for the screws, but they're not tapped yet, so probably best to take one of the existing screws and start a thread on them before, uh, before we install it. And we'll do that for each of the three holes. This is very hard to do if you try to do it from inside the drum, so it's best to start them ahead of time. Now we're ready to put it in place. Now the first thing we'll do is we'll line up one of the holes to get one of the screws started. Now we want to make sure that all of those screws are very tight. We don't want that bearing coming loose. Now the next thing we'll have to do um, is set that back into the bearing housing and I recommend putting some 
high temperature grease in the housing first rather than have it on the ball itself. Uh, otherwise you run into more chance of getting it all over yourself. Now before we do that, uh, the last thing is to clean out all of this area in behind with a vacuum cleaner, knock any of that loose lint that's in there and vacuum it all out. Next we'll put a little bit of high temp grease in the rear bearing housing. And then we're ready to reinstall the drum. Now we're ready to reinstall the drum. We'll fit it through the opening. We'll lift that bearing up into the bearing holder. Push it down into place. Line the belt up roughly where it belongs. You'll see some marks on the drum. And then we need to wrap the belt around the idler pulley and the motor. Now there is a spring that puts tension on that idler pulley that is connected to the motor bracket. And we'll give you a close up shot of that so you'll see where it connects in case you dislodge it. Now the orientation of the belt will be that it comes down the side of the drum, wraps around the motor pulley, and then up, up over top of the idler pulley. And when we rotate the drum, you should see the blower fan moving. Now we're ready to put the front panel back on. And to make sure that we engage the slots on the bottom of the front panel with the two little tabs on the cabinet. We'll have to lift up on the drum a bit to slide that front panel in to make sure that the front glides go into the drum opening. Next we'll reinstall those two Phillips screws, one on either side. Make sure they're tight. And next we'll reinstall the ferret for the drum. Next, we'll reconnect the wire harnesses. And now we're ready to put the main top on. So we locate the slots in the back of the main top, slide them over the hinges. Remember to reconnect the ground strap 
can pinch it closed to make sure it has a nice tight fit. And then simply snap the main top back into place. We'll reconnect the power and our repair is complete. Told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching and good luck with your repair.